world of YouTube, true crime with tail for sight, and I'm nuts here. Ah, uh, went out yesterday and bought one of these. Uh, we got an 8 inch selfie ring light studio with extendable tripod phone holder. I don't know what this is going to bring, but of course it's great for video, vlogging, live video, video chat, social media, live streaming, health and beauty. Of course, I'm sure nobody's going to want to be uh, <laughs> looking at my ugly puss for health and beauty. But this is what it looks like. It is kind of neat. I wanted to get the one with the microphone, but I don't think the tripod extended up like this one, so I ended up not getting it. But, I don't know, I guess I'm all set with this. Right, 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 we got a light system. Can change the light colors to yellow. I don't know what the hell that is. And three different shades of colors. You can turn up the light. Turn the light down, I guess. Of course, that's where I'm going to be. Everybody want to look at my ugly puss. <laughs> but, yeah, there's the light, the rod, the phone set up. And... Hopefully this works. But, um... What I'm gonna do with this... It's gonna be great for standing up at, uh... Haunted houses. In the woods, obviously. Hopefully this light ring will bring me some, um... Good ghost. Also, I don't know about the blogging, vlogging, whatever. <laughs> I won't have to hold my phone, but what sucks about it is when I'm walking at night and I need to do it that way. I might get one of them neck phone holders. So when I am walking, but I don't know. I'm gonna <clears throat> trying to get my studio set up. Whatever. Uh... Hopefully I can get something so I can, uh, right, get a little studio going so I can, but then again, I'm usually more on the road, but if I do try to get some studio, you know, say so, studio setups, I guess this is how it's gonna be. Who knows, maybe I'll pick up one of them little microphones. I wanted to show something off this phone, though. Something, like last night, I haven't watched a video yet, but... I did a video, and it says... This is... A, I got an hour and 24 minutes. But what's weird about this... Is when you go on the video... It shows that it's got three... Now, what I'm looking for in this video, and I haven't gone over it yet, of course, is the uh, noises and maybe unexplained orbs, but new phone I picked up, LG Style 05. I'm going to see how this thing works for videoing, and that's what's going to be on the stand at all times, just for the camera. I did get it for the phone, but... I'm having a huge issue of trying to get this frickin' SIM card um, downloaded in it because every time I buy a frickin' phone off eBay, for some apparent reason, some idiot has to take the SIM card. And I don't know why, because I've been learning that these SIM cards cannot be used in other phones. They're more or less for the antenna and the numbering. And I just don't get why people keep keeping the SIM cards, but... I don't know, an hour and 24 minutes, that's a good damn recording session for me. 
But it did the same thing that I did it. Uh, it must be a thing, though. It must be, because when I went to the Garden of Mansion, my phone shut off but started recording again. I don't know how, but this one did, too. And I have been hearing, you know, things here and there in the room, so this is exactly why I bought this phone stand. Mine I did make. It was a good hold-me-over. It's something that, uh, if you want to stick outside in the ground, you know, type thing, but I, I just needed something with... I don't know how long this one's going to last. I got a two-year warranty on it if it does break, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> it seems eh, to me, but, hey, you got to get what you got to get, do what you got to do. And like I say, mm, I mean, all in all, it's not too bad of a stand. I mean, put the phone in it the whole day last night. It started tipping on me, but I think it's because of the friggin' way the floor is, it does go on an angle, so, eh, whatever, but, so I'm gonna be doing, folks, hopefully upgrading to better recording and better videos, but then again, there you go, I need, I'm also gonna be looking into a real camera, as I was saying, a real, um, you know, movie type camera, and that's gonna be something in the future. Right now, I'm just trying to get, you know, little things done here and there, because I always have to have a camera running, and I do find the phone does catch a lot of things too. But at night, that's right. That's why I need lighting. I mean, it does have a flashlight. And obviously that's going to double the lighting for spirits or even, you know, entities to come to the light. And that's why I did buy this more lighting, making it real bright. And that's what's going to bring out the ghost when I do set this up. And what I caught on the other phone, I tell you, that damn friggin' thing manifesting out of the wall... Yeah, this is why I need a good setup on things, and I'm glad I got the one, like I said, with the light. So, as you can see, it's shining down on the box right now. And if you shut it off, bang. Get it in that haunted spot. Ding, ding. So, oh yeah. As I was saying, I can't wait to get out in the field to use this. That's right. No camera setup. Woo! <clears throat> more lighting, more ghosts. <laughs> Maybe they'll think this is like a porthole. Ooh. That's what I'm going with. Ding! But, just revealing this, I kind of would recommend if anybody needs one of these. It's not bad. Price is a little, eh. I think it was 29 30 bucks with tax, 31 bucks. But, um, whatever. It's the way life goes, and if you're gonna upgrade your you know, your strategies, that's what you gotta do. So, until the next video, be safe, take care, always believe because I think once I start setting this up in places, we'll catch some good ghost. That's right, people. Till the next video, out.